the WWE and the UFC are actually merging into a $21 billion company. Okay. That's kind of crazy. I don't know what that means, though. I'm not sure what it means either, but I guess it's just two huge entertainment companies that are now becoming one. And I guess, because it's interesting how a lot of UFC fighters have gone to the WWE. That's natural. Ken Shamrock, who I interviewed, and he basically said that he's hurt himself worse in WWE than he did in the UFC. Pro wrestling is where I get more damage. I got more damage. MMA is an area where I was good, right? So when I went into a fight, I could finish a guy in a minute, two minutes, and on to the next. Uh, even when I had tough fights, I was good enough not to take damage because I'd take them down. I didn't get into the, the, the slug batches with people. I took them down, worked the submission game, less damage. When I went into a pro wrestling ring, I had to give them my body. Like, it wasn't like I could defend myself and stop them from slamming me. They're going to slam me because that's part of the program. So yeah, 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 I can imagine. And I've heard this a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like guys like New Jack messed himself up real bad. Rest in peace. He, he mm. passed away, I think, since our last interview. Um, I just interviewed Jake the Snake. He was completely oh, tore yeah, up. Yeah, yeah man. I got good friends, um, really good friends. This is one of my best friends in the world is Ernest Miller, Ernest the Cat Miller. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I know firsthand with, uh, well, not firsthand, but through him, uh, that that lifestyle and the bumps that they have to take. Man, they have to, they, they have to present their bodies. Uh, they, they can't really protect themselves in right. a lot of ways. Yeah, Logan Paul got hurt really bad, I think, doing WWE recently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Brock Lesnar, uh, Ronda Rousey, like a lot of people have, had a lot of success. I mean, Ken Shamrock went back and forth, I think. He was yeah, the UFC, yeah. WWE, back to the UFC, and so forth. I mean, listen, I understand there's a lot of money in the WWE. Yeah, I'm not really a big wrestling fan like that. I've never quite gotten the whole gist of it. Mm -hmm. But I get it. It's big checks, but you have to really pay for that. Like I remember interviewing um, Jake the Snake. He was basically saying how at his prime, he had to work like seven days a week. Mm -hmm. And if he said he needed a break, you know, they would be like, okay, next. Who, who's the next guy in? Yeah, but, but yet, you know, if you're an MMA, you only do it, what, once, twice a year? Yeah. In wrestling, you're doing it seven days a week. That's right. You know, and everyone's expected to take steroids. You know, everyone's expected to be huge and perfectly yeah. fit and, you know, and so forth and constantly be on tour. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm glad I never got into WWE. Like th that seems, I understand that you could make a lot of money and there's some fame, but it just seems like everyone walks away just completely messed up. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, my heart goes out to people like that. that like I said, that's our modern day gladiators or the UFC guys, fighters, mm -hmm. even, you know, the, the wrestlers, you know, we live vicariously through them. They're heroes until they're not. And, that it saddens me that people are not uh, taking care of them later. That's why. That's why. Like I always try to cast uh, fighters in my my movies. And, yeah. You know, even with with Ernest, what I was just telling you. I mean, he's he his first movie was in, well, he was in Blood and Bone, with, mm -hmm. and you know, I and I was instrumental in getting him uh, that key role in The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke. And he played Mickey Rourke's uh, nemesis in that movie, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, but I've known Ernest since, man, since the late '80s, where we trained together way back then. But yeah, that's that's a harsh lifestyle, uh, and it's unforgiving. Yeah, yeah, it, it, you know, I, I even watched this series, uh, Dark Side of the Ring. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've watched a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's something. It's something. 